this game uses an autosave feature. Please do not turn off the game while it's saving. Square Enix made the game. Don't nod made it too. I guess they made it more than Square Enix did. <laughs> Cause it's life is strange. Life is strange. That's the name of the game. <laughs> Can oh we, my gosh, are you ready go to on, do this? Can we just go on the road together? Yeah. And just only sing the intro songs to video games but make up our own lyrics? Yes, please. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm we're going to be it. a folk band. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be called... Um, I can grab my grandpa's steel guitar. You can go I a little will, bluegrass sometimes. My grandpa... Uh, I really don't know what he did. Whatever he did, I did it. <laughs> I'm doing it. All right, great. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> sorry, sorry to both grand grandfathers. <laughs> My Whatever they did, Whatever they I'm did. getting on that train. Yeah. Starting immediately. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Life Is Strange. I hear this game is about young adolescent girls. Yeah, you basically don't even need to play it if and, you know that. Yeah, I figured, what? Who do I know? Who was once a young adolescent it. girl, and I can think of only one person. To Literally bring her only one. <laughs> ah, I I can think of only one person. All right. Well, Everyone else, I don't know their past, but you. I was definitely an adolescent. You at were one definitely point. an adolescent and a girl at some point in your life. And this game takes place in Oregon, and I grew up in Oregon. Oh, that's yeah, that's an even better intro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I should have gone with that. Yep, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's do this thing. Uh, yeah, save game one. Okay, so new game. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice and consequences. Actions, decisions impact the past. Present and future, future. while it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Am I controlling her now? Yep, you're in control. Here's my question. What's that way? Try it out. So that, that's a broken tree. It's a table. Really nothing. There's no, It really wants me to go to the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Gotta go to the lighthouse, bro. What if, I mean, why does she think it's the safe place to go? Well, it's the only shelter to speak of that she can see. I'm gonna assume that's her logic. Oh my god! Oh no, she's right, she's right. Although I don't know if that's gonna help her. That's gonna stop that? What's that saying? Blackwall Academy, 1910. Oh my god. like end of days all right well there's a tree down so we've got to go around oh. holy shit yeah <laughs> yeah holy shit Whoa. 
That was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. This is the worst teacher. He's ignoring everyone in class. Feel like totally haunted by the eyes oh, of the but he's so busy talking about art. She saw humanity as tortured. Right? I want to know the story of that kid I right there. It's bullshit. The kid behind him? <laughs> yeah. Keep that to yourself. Like he's just staring at his butt. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a he's dark like, corner hmm. and what? capture you in a moment of desperation. He's trapped. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? No wonder she fell asleep. She had a <laughs> Holy shit. What are you she talking about? There's a I reason no one's paying enough. attention to this class. This is an awful class. I prefer Robert Frank. <laughs> Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war Those two sleeping America. together? And there was honesty I don't know. about the economic conditions of the I'm era. just saying. But a beauty in the struggle. All right, look. You, you don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Look. Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers. So the way that it works, this took me a sec well, too. You click and then you drag toward what you want to do with it. Of so click on the inside the circle and, and then drag toward shame, look. Shame. Capturing like the that? Romantic urban drag toward the word look. The 20th century oh. Poet. Oh. Okay. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You dig? You dig? Yeah, well, that bitch Victoria probably would laugh at you. I, I know, God. I don't trust Victoria. She's such a bitch. Now, okay. contrast Frank's stark Americana so, with Salvador take Dali's selfie in class. Like Cocteau. Sometimes you gotta just live your life, man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. And but what? I like it old school. And I wholeheartedly what? Fight for your right to what other type of pencil cases are there? Or Selfie. I never had a pencil case. Oh, selfie! This is the perfect Sorry. example. I know. So if anybody wants to, I do to love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Hundreds of years to blame society. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd talk all the way until the bell rang. Yes. It's I should take a picture to prove I'm still now, here. What? Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio, and I have to get my daily selfie quota. Process. You're in class. Led to the birth of the self-portrait. And perfect time for a selfie. He mentioned it. Annie, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... Okay. You either know this or not, Max. Damn. Is there anybody Agro. here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was oh my god, I hate you so much! Daguerreotypes? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine well, detail in people's That's faces, how you lose a student, man. That's how you lose a student. Onward. Transferring out of your the class first immediately. The Daguerreotype self-portrait was done by look. Robert Cornelius. I haven't kept up with my journal as you much as I should. Let's, let's do that. In your textbook. Or you if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October. Wait, you can read this. October, my favorite month. <laughs> the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color turning into tiny flames but it's still too damn hot thanks global warming yeah and i can't <laughs> and i can't bust out the coats and sweaters or the scary movies yet soon kate let me borrow the october country by ray bradbury 
I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. Shall I continue? Please. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so that I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party. Or is that backstroke fest? <laughs> You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. First off, ironic. Second off... <laughs> True. Second off... I love that they managed to incorporate Battle Royale into into basically the first, like, minute and a half of this game. Mm -hmm. Like, no, guys, she really is a nerd. She's such a nerd, though. She's such a she nerd that she knows Royale. one of the most popular anime that even non-nerds know. Guys, what a dork. Okay, um, wait. To be fair, Battle Royale um, was never turned into an anime. It's, oh, I'm sorry, so, a um... live... Look, that's how little of a nerd I am. <laughs> And that's how. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. I'm. I'm here to be Max. Y you're. You're my Max. <laughs> Great. Oh my God. We can go back through all of this. Oh, she just got accepted to Blackwell Academy. You have to do this. Okay. You have to read this. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, it would be a rave. Oh, fuck. Even though I've never <laughs> been to one. But who cares? Cause I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town, but. When I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel Wait, my pulse speed up. They just text you now if you get into school? I guess so. Good job, you did it. <laughs> Send. LOL, winky face. <laughs> I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. Took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried. My dad laughed. They're so weird. But they're happy, and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy! And then she drew, like, a little art thing. So what is Blackwell Academy? Is it, like, an art place? It's like an art school, yeah. It's like an and, art high school. And I'm in, like, the cool we. I mean, we. We are. We embodying this one young lady mm -hmm. are in the, like, photography Part. Yeah, we're studying photography. Cool. I'm sure we could school. get that if we just continued the game, but I'd rather know that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest, back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking, you know, with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Now Black Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson, sigh, insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure that I was looking for. Oh dear. <laughs> I was hoping you would say that. Also, thanks for showing up just to read for me. You're welcome. <laughs> I invited you here today to read. I'm delighted to be the young teenage girl voice that you needed for this playthrough. I'm telling you, I needed it so I needed it bad. Mm -hmm. Go you. You know what? Go you, cat. Go y'alls. Shit is crazy here with a K. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited that I'm clearing out my room, though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. Made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat, some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, you know, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed, wink. 
Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Is this, is this an accurate representation of a young lady's journal? No. <laughs> there was no thought. You were just like, no. <laughs> it's not. No, not at all. All right. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Oh my God. Continue. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Huh! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine. And I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and a social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life, sweet dreams. Blackwell sucks ass. <laughs> I told myself not to whine so soon, but ugh, the day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. And I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa, whatever. How could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy-ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. No, I'm with you. I hate that Victoria girl. Yeah, fuck Victoria. She's fuck the worst. Fuck Victoria. So that wasn't fun. Along with my general social unease, I thought it would be easier being back. Calling the ambulance. I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus and the morning mist, and I love the stone steps and the brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Ugh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I am soups wiped out. Have some stamps. September 4th. Well, I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he is a super geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers. He actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner. Or, you know, a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teen drama anymore. Real quick, real quick. Shout out to Warren Graham. Instantly friend zoned. <laughs> Instantly. Instantly. She she called him a nerd, said he knows a lot, and now she's going to use you for information, dude. I just leave. Just walk away. He'll be a good study partner. Tell her tell her right now how you feel. I know you're in it. You're in it for the doing it, bro. Just tell her right now. Don't don't wait. Don't don't wait. Get out of that zone. Get out of that zone. If she, if she shoots you down, you're better off. You're better off finding finding someone else. Warren. Warren Graham. <laughs> this is so difficult because, okay, for everybody who's watching this right now, I have played through this entire game. <laughs> and so it feels like there are so many moments when all I can really do is just nod. <laughs> Warren Graham. Bro. Mm. Bro, walk away. Walk away. I'm gonna look out for Warren. My objective in this game is to look out for that dude, because this is gonna Fuck be Fuck all just, the other characters. Yeah, this is gonna be just a game of everyone using that kid. <laughs> he's he's a young nerd who only knows about photographer names. That kid is going to get used through life. I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for you, Warren. Oh my god. I'm gonna protect you, dude. That's my objective. All right. Shall I? Yes, of course. Okay. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip. He just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but... Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's 
male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's even possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay. I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts gave a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk and just like started texting and the teacher didn't say anything. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club. Puts on popular parties and they just get their way. Guess it's good to be king and queen. I don't want to pause. Wanna... Yeah, pause. Yes. The Vortex Club. Oh yes. They're like X Men villains. Um, prepare for the Vortex Club to be mentioned a lot. <laughs> they're they're basically X Men villains. <laughs> Magneto is up in there. Mm hmm. Uh yeah. Um. Uh, I'm trying to think of another X Men villain that would join the Vortex Club. Uh, the Blob. Sure. The Blob is yep. in there. Um, that's really it. Just my needle in the blob. Just my needle in the blob. Ah, yes. Well, when we go out on the road, um, can I be the blob to your Magneto? <laughs> Why are we the Vortex Club? <laughs> we need some kind of a name if we're going to go out doing singy songs. The Vortex Club? No, Magneto and the Blob. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, great. Perfect. All right. Look, I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. Makes her more beautiful than the biatches here, like Victoria, who think beauty is just your face and your outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. Ugh, no more. And then page seven. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest that he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Ugh. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take place in my class. What I tell you, Warren. What I tell you. <laughs> Get it's out, only Warren. been a couple of weeks, bro. <laughs> Get out. Miss Grant is way cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means actually asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? I'd like it when I click exit, if class was over. And we could just <laughs> be sitting, we're just in an empty classroom. Like, oh, oh. Time really flew. Oops. Oh, oopsies. What is this? Whoopsie doopsies. Oh, that's me. Mm -hmm. My name is Max and I am moody as shit. All right. Oh, Jefferson, I want to bone him. Gotcha. I okay. want to bone him. He's great. He's such a gifted photographer. Kate, my She's friend. She's so cute and yeah. sweet. True love waits. Why did we write that on Kate's page? Yeah, that's, I mean, why? I don't know. Okay. And then Victoria. I, I hope she gets in a plane crash. <laughs> Damn. So mean. She's okay. super mean, but she knows her shit. There's a bunch of other characters, too. Gotcha. Episode one, Chrysalis. Ooh. Ooh. The places that we know. Oh, uh, what? Texts. W Warren. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. <laughs> I just want to point out message, message, message. Not one reply, bro. Bro, just, just, it's enough. It's enough, man. Poor, poor sweet Warren. Not one reply. <laughs> Mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. 18, 18 years. whole years since you were brought to us through 18 my womb. 18 years. 18 years, Kate. See, look, she does respond. <laughs> she straight up responds. Warren. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, <laughs> Warren. Wow. Do you want to get tea later? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. TTYL, yo. TTYL. Daddy. I uh, have a very special 18th birthday baby doll. Don't blow it all at once. 
Aw, oh, sick. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Um, the, so the tab that is like little Polaroids, yeah. those are going to be opportunities for us to take dope pictures. This? That's going to be where your collector brain fires off constantly. Why well, gotta, well, gotta say it like that? It's the, just the truth. Okay. I just want you to be aware. All right. Even Nope, online. he's still going. Hey, guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, <laughs> don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Real talk, everyone in this class, very attractive. All the know, people right? here, Tornado gorgeous. Mm -hmm. a second, kissing ass. Also, this teacher flying out to San Francisco with a student? Yeah, oh yeah. Super illegal. Being no. a former educator, super illegal. No. You cannot fly anywhere by yourself with a student. That is that is how you lose your job. He's just it's he just wants to keep an eye on him. Yeah, yeah. An eye on a certain part. Right there, Victoria? Look at her sticking out her butt. Get out of town. Etched marks. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but huh. this might make a cool shot. This photographic world Photo. Is not for everybody. You're right. Oh no. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Oh, you're the worst. You're the worst. Tablet. Just use it. It's not yours. <laughs> I want to look at it. It's hers though. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I'm not going to use it. She's Even right her there. school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she's saying she's distracted. Fast. She's what kissing she, ass. You could totally just like old? take that tablet. And people laugh. What about this girl? Oh, Kate. Kate, you okay, sweetie pie? Paper ball. Oh my god, look at it. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Whoa, Purge. what? Dear Kate, we love your porn video, XOXO, Blackwell Academy. What? What? What, what happened, Katie? Katie, dear. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. Hope I didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. What did I do to embarrass her? I don't think we did anything to embarrass her. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Mm, Victoria's already won. Want to grab a cup of tea? Yeah, let's Victoria. go get tea. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Oh, poor Kate. What happened to your life? Let me help you look. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Delete. <laughs> delete. Library delete. Ruin hard work. <laughs> Destroy all their work. Photo. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. It's literally just a photo of kids. Nah, no, he's a genius. The composition, Jesse. the light composition, it's brilliant. Jesse, you don't get it. I don't. I don't get you it. Don't get it. I don't. You're Damn, right. They have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yeah, no shit, kid. Poster. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when I was in college and I took a theater class and our teacher at the time, we respected the hell out of him because he was in a Burger King commercial. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. He literally is in like a no a nothing magazine and they're like, oh my God, he's published. Holy. Oh, oh my God, he's my published. God. We were just like- I can learn oh, so much You were in him. a Burger King commercial? Tell us about it. And he was like, yeah, I made enough money to buy a pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, wow. <laughs> Whoa. I can't believe it. He was a real professional. Oh, all right. Back. Film versus digital. Who will Who win? Who will win? Sorry, Synapse. 
This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love everything about this girl so far. Books. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Can Any I... leap of it's mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Look. What's I going like on out that window? View of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. And overcast because it's Oregon. What is that? Bigfoot's? Is that a restaurant? Maybe. Is it like Little Woody's? Maybe. My favorite restaurant in Seattle? It might be just like Little Woody's. Picture. This is a creepy picture. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. So mysterious. Is there just Bigfoot walking in the background? Mm-hmm. This is, I mean, it's Oregon, so there's going to be a Bigfoot here. Yeah, there's Bigfoot everywhere. The lighthouse. Ah, from the beginning. You can never escape mm -hmm. the lighthouse here. Oh. So this is all... The, a game about a girl in photography is all leading to the hurricane of the century. Yep. Destroying a town. Yep. Great. Great. So they're talking. Can I look at this? Is this going to get me in trouble? Just touch it. Just I do just, it. Just touch it. Just do it. I just do don't want to get in trouble. She's going to yell at me, and I don't want to be a social it. outcast just anymore. Just touch it. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Mm-hmm. With all the speed and power expected from a new green lit, the G G 64 is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want. Straight out of the camera, JPEG images already have a superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. Yep. 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 Back. Oh. See? See, it was fine. I don't know these things. See, it was so fine. Do I want to talk to these people? Can I interrupt? Yeah. Like, Totes. excuse me, just look. Um, excuse me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Mm-hmm. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Well, you talk smack about her flat ass. How about that, Victoria? <laughs> <laughs> I am a catty bitch. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. It's perfect for this game. Speak. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Do I have to? Mm, what should I choose here? I mean, I have a picture, yeah? You do have a picture. And one of these options is kind of like a pun on the rest of the game. I didn't have any time. Yeah. <laughs> which is which is very funny. Um, so funny. Do I want to be punny or do I just want to... Like, if I say do I have to, he's going to be like, you don't have to turn that one. And if I say I didn't have any time, he's going to be like, fine, make time. Which is even more punny. <coughs> so clearly we have to make the punny yeah. one. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. All right, he's not so bad. I get why she likes him. Steel TV. <laughs> Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. <laughs> I would love it. It was like, man, he even has the best HDTV, the Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> it's like immediate product placement. <laughs> the Samsung UV764. Ah, yes, that one. With high def Wi Fi connections. Is there. Ooh. Oh, is this the contest? Yeah. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Infamy? You don't want that, kid. Fame works. 
Infamy. Open. It's okay. She's you in high school. Tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture check. They're just getting you running. Why were we focusing on her? She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking You look fine. We just got to the title screen, by the way. I, just... I know. Oh, my God. Well, we I'll had so much that. reading to do. We did. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. Hello, there, old sport. It's me, Jessica, the number one out of the plan. The me, please, the tip top shape. I'm swell shape. And I'm gonna make a fortune for my ass for Shut the balls up! UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up! UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up! Give me that! No! 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 <laughs>